All right, this is a little public service announcement to change your timing chain tensioner if you have any noise. My car was making just a little bit of noise at startup. I listened to all the videos on the death chain rattle, all that stuff. It did not seem to be making that noise, but it's been getting colder and it seems to make a little bit more noise on this side, but then when it warms up, the sound goes away. So I ended up pulling the tensioner and look at that, completely busted. It, the spring, it separated. When I pulled it out, it was seized. It wouldn't move at all, doesn't compress. And then I finally pushed on it on the ground to get it to come up and it exploded. So I think it's just been seized in the current position, not moving. This is the one I just went to the dealership and bought. It's hard to move, but if you push, you can get it to move a little bit. Anyways, the way to get to this is to pull the intake box and then you have to pull this hose and it's right down here. There's tons of videos showing you to do it. That's it's right next to that uh, solenoid. It's just the left of it. It goes in like that. So the way to get to it, pull all three T25s on the top of this box, undo the hose clamp right there, undo the mass airflow sensor, unclip this hose, un disconnect that hose from there, pull this off. Then you have this box here. There is one T25, it goes right there. You just unscrew that, then it just kind of lifts out. The rest are just, it just pushes into there. So do all of that. I did loosen the hose clamp down there. It didn't seem to matter because it would not come off of that. But this, you just kind of like hold this back with one hand and then right down in there, right next to that solenoid is where it screws in. And so if you have any sound at all, I just go ahead and replace this. I'm going to end up doing my chain, but I'm going on a trip and I don't have time to do it right now. But at the very least, I'm going to replace this. So you pull out the old one, put in the new one. The size, it says it's a 27. I don't have a 27, but I have a 28. The 28 worked fine, and it's just right down there. But yeah, I'd go ahead and replace that if you have any concern, or at least check it. Pull it out, see if it's still all connected, see if it has tension. I've seen ones that they just go in and out with nothing. So before your chain disconnects and you smash the engine, go ahead and do that. All right, I figured I'd go ahead and give you a better angle. So I pushed this all the way out of the way, and that's the bolt on the left, right in the middle. That's the timing chain tension. I've already put it in a bit and you can see it just you can hand tighten it to begin with and then you'll tighten it down with the ratchet all right this car is 101,000 miles all i did was replace the tensioner i would replace the chain as well i'm going to do that in the future i'll link the video i saw that looks pretty good this is the first start let's see what it sounds like with the new tensioner <laughs> So that's what it sounds like. Still lots of banging and stuff. It sounds like a diesel motor normally, but it's uh, about 40 degrees outside. Um, so it's still pretty cold and there's no weird vibrations, but that's the sound it makes. <laughs> 